Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Face Palm Sunday. So the video you're about to see is by a particular user by the name of Joseph Martelli. I went to his channel because I wanted to make sure that before I made this video, this man was not a troll. If there's one thing that I want to accomplish through Face Palm Sunday, while it's usually typically religious responses, making fun of religious people, or mocking religious people, I want to make sure that what I'm responding to is not someone who is a troll. And it's kind of interesting, because a lot of the responses that I've done on my Face Palm Sunday, a lot of people are like, is this guy a troll? Is this guy a troll? And to answer your guys' questions, no. I specifically make sure that the people that I'm responding to here on Face Palm Sunday are not trolling, and they are, in fact, what they believe. So this user, Joseph Martelli, I check out his channel, he has 44 plus videos, and some of those videos include his children, in which he has his children read off to the camera Bible verses, and he's cheering them on, saying, Amen, Amen, Amen. It really upset me when I saw, saw some of those videos, simply because I see children, the most innocent, being preyed upon by religion, the parents who the children are supposed to look up to are being indoctrinated, who are being taught ide ideals that this parent, Joseph Martelli holds. And what exactly does Joseph Martelli believe? Well, for starters, he used to be gay. He used to be gay, and now he's a Christian. Now he believes in God, and now he believes in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and now he believes that homosexuality, what he used to be, gay, is an abomination and sin. So let's see what Joseph Martelli has to say in his video. Joseph Martelli here doing another video in front of the dirty bookstore, Niagara Falls, New York, talk of the town. Uh, I can just imagine what's going on in this place. Look at all the cars there. Filth, wickedness, sin, people are committing homosexuality acts back there. People are committing heterosexual acts back there. People are having oral sex, semen spitted on the floor, feces rubbed on the wall. People are having oral sex, semen spitted on the floor, and feces rubbed all on the walls. Married men, women don't, married women don't even know their husbands are going in here. I'm gonna prove all this different stuff too. So let me ask you a question, Joseph Martelli. How are the acts that these people are committing, if they're consensual and it's not harming anybody, how are they affecting you? I've never understood that about evangelical Christians like yourself. You know, you're all against these, these things about what people do in the privacy of their own home or privacy of their own business or things that they do. It doesn't affect you. So if it doesn't affect you, why are you, why is it important to you? Why do you take the need to talk about and preach in front of an adult bookstore or adult porn store, why do you feel the need to stand out there and wave your Bible on the street to look like an idiot? I don't really see what that's accomplishing besides making a fool out of yourself, but that's usually what people like yourself usually do. I was guilty of going in here committing a homosexuality, filth, sin, abomination, totally against this Bible, totally against it. Would you like to see a physical act that is also against the Bible? Did you know that Yoshi <sighs> <sighs> is actually uh, considered uh, a male. Ooh, look at that smile he has over there. I hate it now. I hate my homosexuality that I've done. I hate it. I hate it now. I hate my heterosexuality that I've done. I hate it. I hate that sin. I hate it with a passion. I hate it. The Bible says it's sin and it's an abomination and it's against God. Plain and simple. It's disobedience, it's lustful, it's effeminate, it's abusers themselves of mankind. We deserve to be put in hell, we deserve to be stoned, we deserve to be any type of physical death. We deserve it. So we deserve death for things that we do in the privacy of our own home. That makes perfect sense. Again, how does homosexuality or heterosexuality affect you? I have to ask the question, Joseph Martelli, when you see a man, do you get hard? For that homosexuality. But, thank God for the mercy he has through the Lord Jesus Christ and the grace that the, he would allow his son to die on a cross for our sins. Every single sin, whether it be homosexuality or whether it be a little lie. But what's going on in this place is filth and it's wickedness and I'm here to expose it. The word of God is here to expose it. Holy shit, Joseph Martelli. You're completely fucking right. Your book, your 2,000 year old book, has exposed the truth. And the truth was going to set me free. It's going to set me free from my heterosexual desires to want to have sex with a woman 
to find her physically attractive, to want to fuck her. It has exposed the truth. Thank you, Joseph Martelli. You are my, you are my savior. And um, Jesus said people don't want to come to the light because their deeds were evil. Well, look at all these people in here, married men, whatever goes on. You do realize that some married men and married women actually go to these adult stores, adult porn places, and even watch porn together? Why is that wrong for a couple if they want to watch porn together, if they want to do sexual acts that you may deem as wrong, why is that any a business of yours? And you know what's so funny is that here you are sitting in front of a bookstore out in public looking like a fucking moron, which is what you are, and here you are judging all of these people in that bookstore. Aren't you supposed to show the love and acceptance of Jesus Christ? And sure, maybe the acts that they're doing is wrong in your eyes, but who are you to judge them? Is it not God's position to judge on Judgment Day who will go to heaven and who will go to hell for their bad, evil acts? You're not God, are you? Whatever, whatever these people care, whatever makes them feel good. Well, I don't care anymore. It's Word of God, the Word of God. Amen. The Word of God, the Word of God. Amen. You know, your description of your video says, quote, unquote, I preached a short message on homosexuality in front of the porn store in Niagara Falls, New York. Well, you did in fact preach, but I can say that your preachy message accomplished nothing besides you looking like a complete and utter moron in front of over 200,000 people. If you, Joseph Martelli, are truly against homosexuality, I would like to challenge you Christians out there, no matter who's watching, to come up with an argument against gay marriage or against homosexuality, which is the same thing, but I prefer to say gay marriage. I hate the term homosexuality. Maybe it's because the Bible uses it. I don't know. I just don't like using it. I would like to see Christians create an argument or some sort of thing towards why you do not support gay marriage without using any book, without any using any religious textbook. That's my challenge. And if a Christian can do that, I will watch your video and I will honestly, I will respond to your arguments regarding that video. And I'm not going to make it like this because I admit this video is more of a mocking type of video. Not necessarily, you know, like a, ref a refuting video of his claims or anything. Because he really doesn't make any other claims other than it's wrong because the Bible says it. And that's no argument. You can't just say a book says it, therefore it's right. And that's just dumb. You, I'm not even going to respond to reasoning like that because it's not worth my time. Rather... I want to challenge Christians out there. If you have a legitimate argument against gay marriage, I would like to hear what you have to say. Send me your video. I will watch it, and I will make a respectful, nice, non-asshole, non-douchery, douchery if that's even a word, response to you, um, critiquing your arguments and why I don't think that they follow up. Or not, it's up to you guys. So thank you guys for watching. The video that in full is linked down below to Joseph Martelli's channel. Thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of Face Palm Sunday, and see you all on Tuesday. Peace the rep out.